Hello people. So now I'm in the front room. We're using natural lighting, so maybe this might look terrible. Got my power line. Hopefully you can see it. One. And two. And I've got a really, really long Ethernet cable. Let's get it plugged in. I'll show you how it's done. See you in a second. So you see this thing here? Hopefully you can. Because I'm using my Fuji X-H2S, so I don't know how good this looks. See this here? With all the aperture in the world. Take this. That will be turned off already. My light for the front room. Plug that in. Turn on the switch. Get this, the Ethernet cable. I should have probably undone before I started this. But I shouldn't take too long. Is there one? No, there is one. You get it. Make sure it's not tangled up. I'm not sure how much it will affect um, transmission of the signal. But, there you go. And what you do is plug this. Plug this. This, 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 this. Plug this. Enter. Don't want, let me take it out and show you. Enter here. Mm. Enter there. Obviously turn it on. And then route your cables to your router. I'll see you there in half a second. So. Here's the cable that I took from the wall where it's plugged into. Now you do plug it in to your router. Look at that. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Do some cable management. And there you go. This is done. And to the bedroom we go. Studio. 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 Hello people. Back in the room again. So now, the other side. This right here. We'll plug into that over there. So, in like this. Power on. Then, plug that in like so, and then this cable. Let's look at my look at my expert, look at my expert stuff right now. <laughs> my expert um, moving of of equipment. See how messy and nice it is over there. It's beautiful, people. What do you think? So now, uh, <laughs> one second, one second. Ah. Can you see me? Can you hear me? I'm joking. So now, what we do is feed it around the back. Pull this for the bits of plug in. So the thing is, Mac, my Mac Studio, I think it has a 10 gig on the back. Well, at least a 2.5. I don't need that. So, it's fine by me. So many things connected, so I'm not going to show you the back people, but I think you know what uh, Ethernet jack looks like. So, um, I will trust you lots to find yourselves. God damn it. There you go. Now, I 
it is plugged in. Let's test it and press pair and pair and see what happens. Hey people, so I'm gonna put my password in. Don't look, don't look. I'm gonna see what happens without pressing pair. Because there's, there's a pairing button on both devices and both sides. So I'm guessing I'm meant to press that first. But what I'm gonna do right now is to see if it just works straight away. And I'm gonna start recording the screen so you don't have to see the back of my head. See you in a second. This is boring stuff. Okay, people, let's dive into it and see how this works. First, I'm gonna go to system settings. Then, I'm gonna go to uh, network. And there's an Ethernet cable. It's picking it up. Alright, cool. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stop the Wi-Fi and see if it um, defaults to um, the connected Wi-Fi that I've got here. Okay. See, right now it says connected, but it's not using it. Um, and that's very odd. I would have thought it would just start working. But I guess I do have to do the pairing. That would make a lot of sense. But it's picking up everything. It's, um, as you can, I'm going to try to get rid of this so you're not seeing all my details. But it's there, it's working. Wi-Fi is off. So right now I should be using my... Um, Okay. Well, it's picking it up, but nothing's happening. So let's go to the front room and press pairing and see what happens. Hey, people, back in the front room. Gonna press pair on the side of this. My camera can even almost focus on it. We'll see. Should be interesting. There's a button on the side that says pair. Press it. Button, you can't see it because my um, camera's not good at focusing, but look, it's flashing. I'm gonna go to the other room and press the same thing. Let's go. Okay, they're both doing pair now. Let's see if this works, people. Hopefully it does. So, turns out it was connected without pressing pair. I'm used to Windows where it has the icon of the computer being connected. On a Mac it doesn't. So when I looked at it, I was like, oh, it says connected, but nothing's happening. So what I did was open a browser, um, Brave, and it worked. So don't have to press pair, I don't guess. I don't think so, but I'm guessing there's Best to press it just in case it doesn't work. But yeah, it's all connected now, so let's do some testing. Wish me luck. Hey people. So, I will show you overlays of what I'm doing, because I'm screen recording, so you'll see me showing you what's going on. Um, so, let's do some tests. And that's the first thing to do. Um, some before. And afters. Yeah. Internet speed test. Alright, so. Set. Go. So this is with um, the power line. That's what I'm showing right now. Let's see what speed I get. My home internet is meant to go up to meant to be one gig but um, I'm happy with anything above 100 really 
for what I need it for, especially so far from the router. Okay. So far, so, so good I think. After the test is done, we'll go to the Wi-Fi and see what happens with that one. Wow. Okay. So 105 download, 103 up. Okay, let's open a new window and do the same using the Wi-Fi. That happens to be next door, by the way. Right that way. So literally just behind the wall. So not far away at all. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go up here, I'll turn the Wi-Fi back on. Find it, connect to the fastest one. It's connecting. All right, let me reload this just to make sure. All right, we're connected through Wi-Fi again. Let's see what happens, people. Hopefully, um, after this, we do some more tests and see what happens. Wow. It's telling me a lot, lot quicker. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. We'll do a YouTube upload just to verify. All right, let's see what it says for upload. See this? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Upload is slower. Only a little bit though. Okay. Okay. I think the biggest thing I need to do is check the YouTube one. All right, so let me make this screen bigger. Uh, no, this way. Okay, zoom. Come on, let's do it. I can do this. So, Ethernet. That's what that looks like. No, not Ethernet. Wi-Fi. Okay, so this is through the power line. This is through Wi-Fi. Just through throughput alone, the power line is working a lot better, as you can see. Not by a lot, but it's, it's a lot better. It's not a lot, but it's a lot better. That makes no sense. So let's go do some proper tests um, to do with uploading to YouTube. The main reason why I bought this power line So, right now, we are connected to through Wi-Fi. I'm gonna find a random file and see what the estimate is. Okay, let's see, untitled, what's this, how big is it? It's quite a small file, so let's not use that one. Uh, power line. That one's small too. Oh, these are very, very small files. What's this one? Ah, 67 gigabytes. Let's do that one. Okay, let's see how long this takes. Upload it, upload it, upload it, upload it, unlist it. Let's go. So, using the Wi Fi right now, it says. Hopefully, maybe. Well, there's a screen recording, don't worry. Says so one hour thirty. One hour, one hour thirty for sixty-seven gig file. All right, let's stop it. One hour thirty was the estimate. Now we're going to turn the Wi-Fi off and try again, people. See what happens. Upload. Seven gigs again. Let's see what the speed is, people. Huh. Still one hour thirty. I'm guessing this is a internet outside issue right now because <laughs> this makes no sense. 
<laughs> Makes no sense at all. But at least now, it's as, as fast as it can be. I don't have to deal with um, Wi Fi issues. Because of, remember, I've got two routers right now. Two routers that I'm using. Right, so I've got one in the front room that's for my um, internet provider. And then I've got one in my room that I'm daisy chaining. So it's the ethernet in the front room connected to the ethernet or my router in my bedroom that's over there. That's connected to the Wi-Fi in here. So two routers I've been having to use just to get this to have any Wi-Fi at all. Right? Lots of cables, lots of money. All I did was buy power line connectors for 45 pounds. Plugged it in one wall, as you saw, plugged it into another wall. Plugged it in. Now I'm getting the same and hopefully better speeds than I was having two routers connected to extend my signal. So that's it really. I'm not doing any more deeper tests. Maybe I'll use another internet tester. So we'll do that quickly right now. Uh, internet speed. So I'm using a different one now. This is through Ethernet, by the way. Um, this is given 100 megs. Okay. Connect to the Wi-Fi. To the 5G Wi-Fi in my room. In there. Let's try again. Oh, really? Oh, is that your playing this? Okay. Whatever. <laughs> Fine. So, moral of the story is... Like my hair. Like my hair. Moral of the story is, if... Let's frame this better, people. If you don't want to have two routers connected to each other to at least get a decent signal in your house. Power line would be cost effective and take up this space because it's doing the same or better. Thank you for watching Manry's Tech Vlogs and more. Peace. Share, like, subscribe and comment below. Peace.